Sufi philosophy includes the schools of thought unique to Sufism, a mystical branch within Islam, also termed as Tasawwuf or Faqr according to its adherents. Sufism and its philosophical traditions may be associated with both Sunni Islam and Shia Islam. It has been suggested that Sufi thought emerged from the Middle East in the 8th century, but adherents are now found around the world. According to Sufism, it is a part of the Islamic teaching that deals with the purification of inner self and is the way which removes all the veils between divine and man. It was around 1000 CE that early Sufi literature, in the form of manuals, treatises, discourses and poetry, became the source of Sufi thinking and meditations. Sufi philosophy, like all other major philosophical traditions, has several sub-branches including metaphysics and cosmology as well as several unique concepts. History The emergence of Sufi thought is commonly linked to the historical developments of the Middle East in the 7th and 8th centuries following the life of Prophet Muhammad, and its development took place throughout the centuries after that. Between the 10th and 12th centuries, Sufism became a widely spread discipline. One influential early writer on Sufi philosophy was Al-Ghazali he discussed the concept of the self and the causes of its misery and happiness. By the end of the 13th century, Sufism had become a well-defined science of spiritual awakening throughout the Islamic world, an Islamic Golden Age. No important domain in the civilization of Islam remained unaffected by Sufism in this period. Several tariqas Sufi orders were found. Also a class of notable Sufi philosophers, theologians and jurists such as Hankari, Ibn Arabi, Abu Sayyid Mubarak Makhzumi, led this age who trained and generated historical specimens of philosophers and geniuses now read worldwide such as Al-Ghazali, Avicenna, etc. An important mark made in the history of Sufi philosophy has been made by Abdul Qadir Jalani with his jurisprudence and philosophy of Sufism that made him define the Sufi orders. Jalani's adopted order was Qadiriya and the offshoot he started later became known as Sarwari Qadiri. Several other orders were also founded in this era. Sufis were influential in spreading Islam particularly to the furthest outposts of the Muslim world in Africa, India and the Far East. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphysics Major ideas in Sufi metaphysics have surrounded the concept of wadat or unity with God. Two main Sufi philosophies prevail on this controversial topic. Wadat ul-wujud essentially states that the only truth within the universe is God, and that all things exist within God only. Wadat ul-shuhud or unity of witness, on the other hand, holds that any experience of unity between God and the created world is only in the mind of the believer and that God and his creation are entirely separate. It is the state where there is no difference between God and human being who is trying to achieve a particular state i.e., no one except God. The concept of Sufi metaphysics was first deeply discussed in written form by Ibn Arabi in one of his most prolific works entitled Edfusis al-Hikam where he applies deep analysis on the issue of oneness through the metaphor of mirror. In this metaphor, al-Arabi compares an object being reflected in countless mirrors to the relationship between God and his creatures. God's essence is seen in the existent human being, as God is the object and humans being the mirrors. Meaning two things, that since humans are mere reflections of God there can be no distinction or separation between the two and without God the creatures would be non-existent. When an individual understands that there is no separation between human and God they begin on the path of ultimate oneness. This metaphysics of Sufi philosophy is also narrated in the Hadith. Whoever recognized his self, undoubtedly recognized his Rab Allah. Topic. Cosmology Sufi cosmology Arabic, al al is a general term for cosmological doctrines associated with the mysticism or Sufism. These may differ from place to place, order to order and time to time, but overall show the influence of several different cosmographies such as the Quran's testament concerning God and immaterial beings, the soul and the afterlife, the beginning and end of things, the seven heavens etc., the Neoplatonic views cherished by Islamic philosophers like Ibn Sina, Avicenna and Ibn Arabi or, the Hermetic Ptolemaic spherical geocentric world. 
The cosmological plan, explains creation by successive emanation of worlds, as taught by Plotinus in Islamic Sufi terminology, these are also known as Tanzilat e Sada, seven steps. After Husayn ibn Ali, Abu Sa'id Mubarak Makhzumi was the one who discussed these levels in his Arabic book called Tofa Mursala. Latif e Siddha Drawing from Quranic verses, virtually all Sufis distinguish Latif as Siddha, the six subtleties, as Nafs, Qalb, Sir, Ra, Kafi, and Akhfa. These Latif singular, Latifa designate various psycho spiritual organs, or, sometimes, faculties of sensory and suprasensory perception. They are thought to be parts of the self in a similar manner to the way glands and organs are part of the body. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Subtle bodies. Topic: <inaudible> Ra <inaudible> spirit. Some mystics named Ra as Baitan or the esoteric self or Qalb. The Sufi mostly believes in a strong soul as it brings him close to divine. Soul is strengthened by the spiritual training given by the perfect spiritual guide. This eventually leads to the nearness to Allah. Also it is stated in Hadith Qudsi that, whoever recognizes his self, undoubtedly, recognized his Allah. Hence, death is not the end but in fact it is the beginning to the eternal life which is only endowed to the soul and not to the body. <laughs> Nazma. Nazma is the Sufi term for the subtle or astral body. It is not to be confused with the Ra spirit which transcends both Nazma and physical form. Topic: <laughs> Physical body. Sufism demarcates the physical body from the Nazma. According to Sufi beliefs, physical body is a reflection of spiritual body or batan or ra, as also stated in one of the famous hadiths of Prophet Muhammad, actions are but by intentions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Spiritual states. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hall. A hall is a state of consciousness, generally a product of spiritual practices, recognized in Sufism. Each hall state is associated with a maqam station of along the spiritual path. Topic: <laughs> Manzil. A manzil, which literally means destination, is a terminology in Sufism, is a plane of consciousness. There are seven manzils along the path to God. The manzils are also parts of the Quran which help in protecting on sorcery. Topic: <inaudible> Maqam. A maqam is one's spiritual station or developmental level as distinct from one's hall or state of consciousness. This is seen as the outcome of one's effort to transform oneself whereas the hall is a gif. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Concepts in Gnosis. Fana Fana is the Sufi term for extinction. It means to annihilate the self and realize the God, while remaining physically alive. Persons having entered this state are said to have no existence outside of, and be in complete unity with Allah. The nature of Fana consists of the elimination of evil deeds and lowly attributes of the flesh. In other words, fana is abstention from sin and the expulsion from the heart of all love other than the divine love, expulsion of greed, lust, desire, vanity, show, etc. In the state of fana the reality of the true and only relationship asserts itself in the mind. One realizes that the only real relationship is with Allah. Bika <laughs> A person's bika, which literally means Permanency is a term in Sufi philosophy which describes a particular state of life with God and is a manzil or adobe that comes after the station of fana. Anayat Khan writes in his book A Sufi Message of Spiritual Liberty, the ideal perfection, called baka by Sufis, is termed najat in Islam, nirvana in Buddhism, salvation in Christianity, and mukti in Hinduism. This is the highest condition attainable, and all ancient prophets and sages experienced it, and taught it to the world. Baka is the original state of God. 
At this state every being must arrive some day, consciously or unconsciously, before or after death. The beginning and end of all beings is the same, difference only existing during the journey. Yakin Yakin is generally translated as certainty and is considered the summit of the many makams stations by which the path of walaya sometimes translated as sainthood is fully completed. Other concepts Hakika Hakika or Hakikat is the Sufi term for the supreme truth or absolute reality. Marifa Marifa or alternatively Marifa literally means knowledge or recognition. According to mysticism, the truth behind creation of man and essence of all prayers is the recognition of Allah. The term is used by Sufi Muslims to describe mystical intuitive knowledge. Knowledge of spiritual truth is reached through ecstatic experiences rather than revealed or rationally acquired. Topic: <laughs> Isan. Isan is an Arabic term meaning perfection or excellence. Isan is the goal or aim of Sufi practices and is achieved when a seeker surrender and submit himself completely to the will of Allah. Topic References. Topic Further reading. Frager, Robert. Essential Sufism. Frager, Robert. 1999. Heart, Self, and Soul. Quest Books. pp. 54 to 88. ISBN 0-8356-0778-X. An imprint of the Theosophical Publishing House. Shaw, Idris. 2001. The Sufis. London, UK: Octagon Press. pp. 394 to 395. ISBN 0-86304-020-9. Rahimi, Sadiq. 2007. Intimate Exteriority: Sufi Space as Sanctuary for Injured Subjectivities in Turkey. Journal of Religion and Health, Vol. 46, Number no. 3, September 2007, pp. 409 to 422. Chopra, R. M. Sufism. Origin, Growth, Eclipse, Resurgence, 2016. Anuradha Prakashan, New Delhi. ISBN 9789385083525. Hack, Amber 2004. Psychology from Islamic Perspective, Contributions of Early Muslim Scholars and Challenges to Contemporary Muslim Psychologists. Journal of Religion and Health, 43 357-377, doi, 10.1007 per seconds 10943-0044302-Z Anne-Marie Schimmel, Mystical Dimensions of Islam 1975, p. 191 Historical Dictionary of Sufism by John Rinard Saadia Delvi. Sufism, Heart of Islam. HarperCollins Publishers. ISBN 978-93-5029-448-2.